Hickok 45 here. Uh oh, 1911 time. And big game hunting time, right? Yes, I thought we haven't done it with a 1911 yet. So I pulled out one, it's got a pretty good trigger, the Ed Brown Special Forces. <laughs> and uh, it, it was a nice trigger. And uh, if I can do it with any 1911, I should be able to do it with one of these. Okay, so we'll see. A lot of animals to take over. You think the 45 ACP will do the job? Hopefully, I, you know, I meant to have a 4570 out here just in case. So, let me put one on the gong and uh, get it kicking here. Don't uh, forget that uh, the people that help us, like BudsGunShop.com, hopefully you uh, support them. They support us. Also, federal, we're going to fire federal ammo, 230 grain ball, uh, American Eagle, okay, on every shot. Don't forget SDI.edu. Sonoran Desert Institute, and they're the great supporter. Check them out. Okay, all the links are in the description. You know that by now. All right, let's put one on the gong and see if I can do this. It's cold winter day, uh, but I don't know. I was in the mood to hunt. I really was. So I came hunting. I, I know where I walked out the front door, and I found all these animals uh, that needed to be knocked over. So... Here we go. You know the drill by now. If you've not seen a big game hunt, we start on the gong, we end with a gong, and we do nothing but knock down the big game over there. At least try to, okay? So, let's see what we can do with this baby. Let's see if we can hit the gong. If not, we need to go in the house and forget it. All right, got that done, nothing else, so. I'll start in the lower right corner over there, and I think I know where to hold. It's just a trick of being able to do it and uh, get that trigger pull at the right time, right? <sighs> Good old 1911. Ah, feel good. Uh-oh, turkeys. They're kind of hard. Thought I might run into that. <laughs> I didn't hit him high enough, I guess. <sighs> All right, Mr. Piggy. Ah, hey, Mr. Piggy, another one. All right, let's go all the left over there and get that one. I knew I was getting about empty. Let's grab a mag. I'll put some more in my pocket here. Whew. Fun. Before we go too far, let me remind you another outfit that helps us a great deal. Atmex, American Precious Metals Exchange. If you're not familiar with them, you know, uh, I don't know where you've been because uh, they're all over the internet. They're one of the biggest and the uh, most prestigious online precious metals dealer. Uh, so anyway, check them out. Check the link in the description. Go through our link, okay? And uh, I, this is some precious metal, too. Good old 1911. Uh, man, they are fun to shoot. As I've said before, you don't have to carry one. You don't have to fall in love with the 1911 as a carry gun. But uh, they're wonderful to shoot. All right, especially if you get one with a good trigger. Okay. Now, I might have some trouble. It is just a 45 ACP. If, if I run to one that just absolutely won't fall, we'll, we'll have to leave it. But that's okay. Uh, I'm kind of stretching it with the 1911, I realize that. Not known as a big game cartridge generally. So let's go down here and get that turkey. <sighs> and that pig. <laughs> I love a 45, the way it slams into them. Uh, it, they're usually loud hits, put it that way. That turkey over there. <laughs> that knocked him right off there. Uh, let's go into turkey, the turkey row. How's that? <laughs> oh. Well, I 
am happy. Four turkeys are in a row, or five, whatever it was. All right. Yeah, man. Using, uh, again, 230 grain ball ammo, American Eagle. Oh, no, wait a minute. I shouldn't be able to hit these with this firearm. You know why? Well, for one thing, it's just a 1911, but also it does not have the full-length guide rod. And everybody knows one without the full-length guide rod is worthless, right? <laughs> it's not very accurate. I hate full-length guide rods. You've heard me say that before. All right. Now there'll be a curse on me. I won't be able to hit anything for saying that. <laughs> Let's get that turkey in the middle. Turkey on the left. Ooh, I saw that. I saw that bullet went right over him. Well, I didn't see the bullet, but I saw the hit. I decided to take a break, and I was uh, wanting to shoot at that brown leaf up there. You know. All right. Well, now we're getting to the heavy boys up here. Hit the same leaf. Okay. Holding too high. All right, Mr. Buffalo. Wild Bill would be proud of me if I could get a buffalo with a 1911. He and John Browning both would be proud. <laughs> they must have heard me say that. Okay, I wondering where I was going. All right, Mr. Ram, your turn. All right, let me a ram. Whew. All right, good, I need to walk here and get a magazine. Sometimes it helps to take a break anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. The longer you shoot, especially when you have to focus, concentrate, that's hard for me. All right, a couple of mags ought to finish me up here. Unless I struggle, been known to do that. So uh, good old guns, you know, 1911s, you know. They're not necessarily a long range target firearms. But, uh, or big game guns, but you know, that's, that's never stopped me from, <laughs> from using a firearm for the wrong purpose, right? Trimming trees, trimming, carving pumpkins, whatever. <sighs> They're just very useful uh, all around tools. Okay, ooh, we got a tough one, that turkey up there. Boom. All right, Mr. Ram. Oh, <laughs> all right, Buffalo Bill. Oh, he doesn't want to fall. You know what I might have to do with him? Put a fresh mag in. That's the one that's hard to, to get over quite often. I'm going to uh, maybe get him rocking and try to hit him high. All right. Let's have a little fun with this last target. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 
Well, I may not have the firepower, the horsepower to knock him over. It's just not going to happen. So, uh, but we hit him. I think he's bleeding out. Okay, so we'll consider it a hit since we hit him whatever six or eight times. And uh, I'll got to put one on the go. Next time I will have a, a a larger, heavier caliber out here, and you know I have them, don't you? All right, Mr. Gong. I'm sorry, we're, I'm such a loser today. I'm just sort of claiming that I'm finished. Y'all forgive me, will you? All right. <laughs> okay. You know, I've got a few more in the magazine. Let me, let me, let me hit the buffalo just to, just to be, just to vent my anger. How's that? I'm gonna see if I can hit him in the face. <laughs> so take that if he's not bled out he is now so anyway it's kind of fun to hunt with different firearms uh even if they are underpowered sometimes right uh but uh you know 45 acp was never meant to be a 458 wind mag or anything uh so 1911 john browning designed it uh and you know for this kind of thing i really believe that so Nice firearm. Uh, I've enjoyed taking down almost every animal. And I will get my revenge. I will get it. You just watch. Life is good. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.